Hi, Lewis here. I'm reading the speech Jefferson Davis gave before the Mississippi legislature in 1858. Davis's speech led to the secession of the southern states and eventually to the Civil War. The speech laid the path for Davis to become president of the Confederacy. Examining a seminal work like Davis's speech can help us understand the complicated forces that have shaped our country and society. Let me explain. Society is a human creation. People shape society through their decisions and their behavior. Some works in history are so important that they change ideas, governments, or even the course of our entire society. Seminal works, like Davis's speech, contain historically important ideas. His speech helped shape critical events in history, which have led to our world today. There are lots of books written and speeches given, so why do these works stand out? Seminal works are often presented as arguments. Think of a good argument like a tennis match. Would you rather watch one point or the whole match? Davis's speech was an argument that responded to New York Senator William Seward. Seward's goal was to abolish slavery through legal means. Davis doesn't just make one point. He develops his argument as a response to Seward. Davis argued that it was the duty of Southerners to follow the Constitution by separating themselves from a government that no longer represented them. In order to strengthen a point, writers of seminal works frequently include counterclaims or conflicting evidence or viewpoints. Davis agreed with his opposition that splitting the United States was not desirable, but he countered that it was more desirable than the alternative. It might seem counterintuitive to agree with your opponent's point at all, but strong arguments consider all sides of an issue and then try to prove why one is superior. Earlier in the speech, Davis explains his opponent's argument that it is up to the federal government to rid the states of slavery. Then he presents his counterclaim that the Constitution does not permit the federal government to interfere with state governments. In this counterclaim, Davis makes an important argument the Constitution, as written, did not give the federal government the right to abolish slavery in states that chose to keep it. Davis may have rebutted his opponents, but what was the result? Ultimately, the position Davis took in his speech led to the formation of the Confederacy and the Civil War. Seminal works can affect the course of history. Davis's speech was part of a larger national argument about slavery. In the end, the argument was settled against Davis, and slavery was abolished via a change to the U.S. Constitution. Our society was fundamentally changed. What works have you read that have changed the course of history?